the wall behind me shows the, the process that we uh, followed during over more than uh, two years uh, working on this fantastic project. As you can see, the, um, there were at the beginning in 2010 uh, many, many different proposals done in uh, executed in uh, quarter scale models. And uh, there was a second look where we presented in total five uh, different concepts in one-to-one uh, -one scale. And um, at that time, the idea, the, the, the result of the presentation was uh, uh, to select two main concepts. One is this, and the other one is this, where the main theme of the site was uh, already very clear. So the idea of a tensor structure um, was, uh, was the key element of the car. One of these two models uh, were selected and then uh, followed a very long uh, development process in order to uh, optimize, improve the original idea through many, many loops, uh, working really hard together with uh, uh, aerodynamic, aerodynamicists and engineers. Here you can see um, uh, the two of the one-to-one uh, -one scale models that we presented in the, in, uh, to, at the beginning of 2011, where uh, there are already some ideas, some inspirations, uh, that finally took their place in the, in the, in the final uh, in the final model. For instance, here you can see the the treatment of the the side, which was very important in order to cover and to protect the side of radiators, and also to create a quite important outlet here behind, and also a step. Um, which was very important for the, for the aerodynamics. Also, this channel is, was uh, research from our uh, colleagues of the aerodynamic, aerodynamic department because this creates more downforce to the rear. On this side, you can see another interpretation of the same theme where you can also see uh, the front wheel arch, the front, the front band uh, completely detached from the, from the main body. Uh, it's uh, a kind of uh, Formula One uh, um, feeling that you can, uh, you can have here. Um, be also because of this idea of a technical uh, curve uh, of the, uh, the wheel. At the time it was also very important to get this uh, negative shape here because this element works as a wing so catching the airflow from the lower from underneath this is another concept of the early stage where nevertheless you can see the first uh, idea of this uh, floating wing so uh, let's say a two layer concept where the wing is uh, floating, so separated and uh, suspended on a center pillar. This is the concept that we decided to, to maintain, even if uh, interpreted in, in a completely different way on the final version. We tried on uh, every model to develop different solutions. For instance, one, this one was based on the principle of the Formula One where the carbon fiber flat floor is uh, totally separated from the, from the main body. This, this was the idea. Well, the idea of the shaft lines so wide was uh, a kind of, uh, let's say, a quote of the Ferraris of the past, mostly the uh, 80s Ferraris where it was typical to have, uh, um, let's say, a gap, normally horizontal, because at the time there was uh, uh, a lot of inspiration coming from the, 
from the Italian design, the industrial design, uh, uh, so-called uh, techno-chic design. In uh, our interpretation, this theme has been maintained, but completely re reinterpreted. The idea was uh, to offer, through these different models, a variety of interpretations, very, very, very wide. Nevertheless, you can you can see here some of the principles that uh, we we maintain on the final version. For instance, the the concept of a red wing sitting on uh, strong pillars, on strong uh, keels, and uh, and a technical area created in carbon fiber is, I mean, similar to the final one. Also, the idea of, uh, of a center pillar, uh, consistent with the front one, mm. has been maintained. On the final version, the purpose of this, of this element, of this uh, uh, pillar, is to protect the crash box, which is just behind, and uh, th that protects the, the curve. This, this is a quite interesting model, because it's, it's a work-in-progress model, uh, which shows the process that we use to create our design models. It's interesting to see also how the same theme has been uh, interpreted in a different way on this side and on the other side. In this case, the, let's say the tensor structure theme is treated in a more geometrical way and, and, and it's a little bit more uh, upright than, uh, than on the final version. You can also see that the fin, the fin belonging to the door, because this is part of the door, was very long, was extended and dynamic. Each one of these proposals has been very important in order to, for the research, I mean, in order to find the right formal language perfectly um, representing the essence of this car.